Internationally, Monday was the deadliest outbreak of storms so far this year, with more than five people confirmed dead and almost 60 injured. And with the storms gone now, the cleanup begins. Meteorologist Eric Zarnitz takes an in-depth look at what caused all the damage. Eric? Mark, multiple storms put down dozens of tornadoes yesterday evening, with one system in particular causing the majority of the destruction. Monday afternoon, some of the strongest thunderstorms of the year popped up in central Oklahoma. This was a significant storm and a deadly storm. We have a number of businesses that have been totally destroyed. As the storms move through, they drop multiple tornadoes laying waste to parts of Oklahoma City, Norman, and Seminole. So it's coming this way. So we just ran, ran in the shelter, and uh, as we're running in the shelter, I saw it. Crossing the neighbor's house over there. The thunderstorms that spawn those tornadoes Monday evening are called supercells. The thing that makes them so super is that these storms spin, helping them to not only spawn tornadoes, but also live up to 10 hours. This is an image from one of those storms as it moved past Oklahoma City. This one storm doesn't just have one hook echo, but two, with a third possibly taking shape. Each one of those hooks indicates a possible tornado. With Doppler technology, we can even look inside the storm. Every location you see green and red colors closely placed indicates a couplet or very strong rotation. And in this case, multiple tornadoes from just one storm. Now, usually here in Ohio, we don't see such a well-defined storm, but that same technology helps us to identify threats. The good news is that WDTN.com is an excellent resource. Go to Weather and select Severe Weather to take a look at Live Doppler 2X, including velocity data. Reporting live, Eric Zarnitz, 2 News on your side.